After studying this module, you will be able to define the term job satisfaction, describe the importance of job satisfaction, know the nature of job satisfaction, analyze the determinants of job satisfaction, identify the consequences of job satisfaction, and learn the methods of measurement of job satisfaction. After studying this module, you shall be able to define the term job satisfaction, describe the importance of job satisfaction, know the nature of job satisfaction, analyze the determinants of job satisfaction, identify the consequences of job satisfaction, learn the methods of measurement of job satisfaction, A person may possess a variety of attitudes, but organizational scenario encompasses only those attitudes which relate to work life. These attitudes are generally evaluations which employees hold about their work environment. These attitudes may be favorable or unfavorable, that is positive or negative. Job satisfaction is one such job related attitude which is widely studied in the field of organizational behavior. Job satisfaction is a broad term which covers the overall assessment and employee forms of his or her job work environment. It is closely linked to an individual's behavior at the workplace because it both arises from and impacts the overall quality of work life. Job satisfaction is more of an attitude, an internal state which develops as a result of an individual's personal experience at work. The term job satisfaction is made by combining two terms, job and satisfaction, which both respectively hold distinct meaning. Together these terms indicate how satisfied a worker is with his or her job. It is an umbrella term which covers the overall positive or negative attitude of the worker. Following are some important definitions. The term job satisfaction refers to the attitudes and feelings people have about their work. Positive and favorable attitudes towards the job indicate job satisfaction. Negative and unfavorable attitude towards the work job indicate job dissatisfaction. Job satisfaction is the favorable and unfavorableness with which employees view their work. Overall, satisfaction will vary directly with the extent to which the needs of an individual are satisfied through the job. As indicated from the above definitions, Job satisfaction refers to the general attitude or feelings of an individual towards his job. Job satisfaction sometimes represents a combination of positive or negative feelings that workers have towards their work. Job satisfaction is a worker's sense of achievement and success on the job. It is generally perceived to be directly linked to productivity as well as to personal well-being. Job satisfaction implies doing a job one enjoys, doing it well and being rewarded for one's efforts. Job satisfaction further implies enthusiasm and happiness with one's work. Job satisfaction 
is the collection of feelings and beliefs that people have about their current job. People's levels or degree of job satisfaction can range from extreme satisfaction to extreme dissatisfaction. In addition to having attitudes about their job as a whole, people also can have attitudes about various aspects of their job such as the kind of work they do, their co-workers, supervisors or subordinates and their pay. Job satisfaction is a complex and multifaceted concept which can mean different things to different people. It essentially represents a feeling that appears as a result of the perception that the job enables the material and psychological needs. Job satisfaction can be considered as one of the main factors when it comes to efficiency and effectiveness of business organizations. Job satisfaction is one of the important factors which affects not only the efficiency of the laborers but also such job behaviors such as absenteeism, turnover, accidents, etc. Therefore, job satisfaction has vital importance for the success of any organization. The study of job satisfaction provides us with the range of information pertaining to job, employees, environment, etc., which facilitates decision making and correcting the path of organizational policies and behavior. Job satisfaction is a diagnostic instrument for knowing employees' problem, problems, affecting changes, and correcting with least existence. It indicates the general level of satisfaction in the organization about its programs, policies, etc. Job satisfaction strengthens the communication system of the organization and management can discuss the result for shaping the future course of action. Job satisfaction helps in improving the attitudes of employees towards the job and facilitates integration of employee with the organization. It inspires sense of belongingness and sense of participation, leading to the overall increase in the productivity of the organization. Job satisfaction helps unions to know exactly what employees want and what management is doing. Thus, it facilitates mutual settlement of grievances and other unwanted situations. Job satisfaction facilitates in determining the training and development needs of both employees and the organization. If we can improve job satisfaction and morale, we can improve performance as well. Job satisfaction is nothing but one of the many types of work-related attitudes. It is formed as a result of the evaluations employees carry out of their work environments and overall experience at workplace. Job satisfaction is the result of employee perception of how well the job provides those things that are viewed important by them. Those employees who receive what is perceived important and positive by them are generally more satisfied with their jobs than those who receive what they perceive to be unfavorable or unimportant. This implies that the same set of factors might result in satisfaction of some while dissatisfaction of others. Job satisfaction is a dynamic in nature, that is, it might vary from time to time. 
a change in factors contributing to job satisfaction would automatically bring about a change in how much satisfied an employee feels in his or her job. Therefore, it is safe to say that like other attitudes, job satisfaction also evolves with time. Job satisfaction functions both as a determinant and independent variable and as a consequence that is a dependent variable. Job satisfaction has been tied to better job performance and lower absenteeism and turnover among the employees. As a result of which, the employees who are satisfied are biggest asset to an organization, whereas the dissatisfied employees are the biggest liabilities. In fact, no organization can successfully achieve its goals and mission unless and until those who constitute the organization are satisfied in their jobs. An employee's overall satisfaction with his or her job is a result of a combination of factors. These are the factors which influence job satisfaction directly or indirectly. Therefore, they are termed as determinants of job satisfaction. Job satisfaction goes beyond simply doing something and getting a paycheck. Both employers and employees benefit when employees feel satisfied. As a happy employees are often more productive and less likely to look for a different job. Therefore, an understanding of these factors is essential to better understand the concept of job satisfaction. To summarize the learning, job satisfaction plays a key role in enhancing the quality of employees, work life, as well as the overall well-being of an individual. Job satisfaction is an attitude which is a result of employees' evaluation of their overall work experience. Job satisfaction is essentially a precursor to organizational effectiveness and achievement of important organizational objectives. Job satisfaction is influenced by a number of factors such as working conditions, opportunities of advancement, financial compensation and interpersonal relationship with co-workers, subordinates as well as supervisors. Job satisfaction has important outcomes for an organization such as job performance of employees, preventing employee turnover, reducing absenteeism and workplace deviance. Job satisfaction is measurable and can be measured through a number of techniques. As a person may possess a variety of attitudes, but organizational scenario encompasses only those attitudes which relate to work life. These attitudes are generally evaluations which employees hold about their work environment. These attitudes may be either favorable or unfavorable, that is, positive or negative. Job satisfaction is one such work-related attitude which is widely studied in the field of organizational behavior. Job satisfaction is a broad term which covers the overall assessment an employee forms of his or her work environment. It is closely linked to an individual's behavior in the workplace because it arises from the workplace and impacts the overall quality of work life. Job satisfaction is more of an attitude an internal state which develops as a result of an individual's personal experience at work. The term job satisfaction is made by combining two terms, job and satisfaction. Together, these terms indicate how satisfied a worker is with his or her job. 
It is an umbrella term which covers the overall positive or negative attitude of the worker. Keith Davis states that job satisfaction is the favorableness and unfavorableness with which employees view their work. In addition to that, job satisfaction refers to the general attitude or feelings of an individual towards his job. Job satisfaction sometimes represent a combination of positive or negative feelings that workers have towards their work. Job satisfaction is a worker's sense of achievement and success on the job. It is generally perceived to be directly linked to productivity as well as to personal well-being. Job satisfaction implies doing a job one enjoys, doing it well, and being rewarded for one's efforts. Job satisfaction further implies enthusiasm and happiness with one's work. People's levels or degrees of job satisfaction can range from extreme satisfaction to extreme dissatisfaction. In addition to having attitudes about their jobs as a whole, people also can have attitudes about various aspects of their jobs, such as the kind of work they do, their co-workers, supervisors or subordinates, and their pay. Job satisfaction is a complex and multifaceted concept which can mean different things to different people. Job satisfaction can be considered as one of the main factors when it comes to efficiency and effectiveness of business organizations. Job satisfaction plays an important role in life as it impacts employee behavior. That is, job satisfaction is one of the important factor which affects not only the efficiency of laborers but also such job behaviors like absenteeism, turnover, accidents, etc. Therefore, job satisfaction has vital importance for the success of any organization. It facilitates decision making. The study of job satisfaction provides us with a range of information pertaining to job, employees, environment, etc which facilitates decision-making and correcting the path of organizational policies and behavior. Furthermore, job satisfaction can be used as a diagnostic instrument for knowing employees' problems, effecting changes and correcting with least resistance. It indicates the general level of satisfaction in the organization about its programs, policies, etc., it also facilitates communication as it strengthens the communication system of the organization and management can discuss the result for shaping the future course of action. Moreover, job satisfaction helps in improving the attitudes of employees towards the job and facilitates integration of employees with the organization. It inspires sense of belongingness and sense of participation leading to the overall increase in the productivity of the organization. In addition to all this, job satisfaction helps unions to know exactly what employees want and what management is doing. Thus, it facilitates mutual settlement of grievances and other unwanted situations. Lastly, job satisfaction facilitates in determining the training and development needs of both employees and the organization. If we can improve job satisfaction and morale of the employees, we can improve job performance as well. The nature of job satisfaction. Firstly, job satisfaction is one of the many types of work-related attitudes. It is formed as a result of the evaluations employees carry out of their work environments and overall experience at work. Secondly, it is the result of employee perception of how well the job provides those things that are viewed important by them. Those employees who receive what is perceived important and positive by them are generally more satisfied with their jobs than those who receive what they perceive to be unfavorable or unimportant. Thirdly, a change in factors contributing to job satisfaction would automatically bring about a change in how much satisfied an employee feels in his or her job. Therefore, it is safe to say that, like other attitudes, 
job satisfaction also evolves with time. Job satisfaction functions both as a determinant or an independent variable and as a consequence or a dependent variable. Job satisfaction has been tied to better job performance and lower absenteeism and turnover among the employees. As a result of which, the employees who are satisfied are the biggest assets to an organization, whereas the dissatisfied employees are the biggest liabilities. Let me now discuss the determinants of job satisfaction. Factors such as spacious work areas rather than cramped ones, adequate lighting and comfortable workstations contribute to favorable work conditions also influence employees' satisfaction. Moreover, opportunity for promotions also matter a lot as employees are more satisfied with their jobs if they see a path available to move up the ranks in the company and be given more responsibility and along with it higher compensation. Dealing with a workload that is far too heavy and deadlines that are impossible to reach can cause job satisfaction to erode. Falling short of deadlines results in conflicts between employees and supervisors and raises the stress levels at the workplace. Furthermore, employees seek those work environments which offer cooperative co-workers. A hostile work environment with rude or unpleasant co-workers is one that usually has lower job satisfaction. Moreover, supervisors and managers who offer recognition and praise to employees for their efforts and accomplishments enhance the levels of job satisfaction many folds. A positive attitude and feedback from the supervisors and superiors is an important factor which influences employee job satisfaction. In addition to the previously mentioned facts, it has been seen that job satisfaction is also impacted by an employee's views about the fairness of the company wage scale as well as the current compensation he or she may be receiving. Opportunities to earn special incentives such as bonuses, extra paid time offs or vacations also bring excitement and higher job satisfaction. And it is known that a clear chain of command and access to the people in charge greatly influences job satisfaction of workers. In some Asian countries, such as Japan, it has been found that security is the greatest reason of job satisfaction. Hence, it can be said that feeling of insecurity adversely impacts satisfaction at work. Worry about job security is naturally detrimental to a positive work experience. Last but not the least, the content of the work itself is a major source of satisfaction. Research shows that if the creative requirements of employees' jobs are met, then they tend to be satisfied. Feedback from the job itself, autonomy in the work, interesting and challenging nature of work are the factors related to the content of work itself which influence job satisfaction of the workers. In the previous slide, job satisfaction as a dependent variable was discussed. Now, let us consider the situation when it acts as an independent variable. I think we all know this quote, a happy worker is a productive worker. Interestingly, some researchers found a weak connection between the two, while others reported stronger association. It is quite interesting to know that when people are satisfied with their jobs, they may be more likely to attend work even if they have a cold. However, if they are not satisfied with their job, they will be more likely to call in sick even when they are well enough to work. Another effect of job satisfaction is employee turnover, which refers to the tendency of the workers to give up their current job in favor of 
a more appealing opportunity. This essentially stems from an absence of those factors in current job which are satisfactory enough to retain them in their current job. Let us now take a negative possibility as job dissatisfaction predicts a lot of specific behaviors including unionization attempts, substance abuse, stealing at work, undue socializing and tardiness. If the workers are satisfied with their work environment, they are less likely to engage in workplace deviance. Hence, job satisfaction has an important contribution in discouraging such behaviors. There are a few measures of job satisfaction and one of them is single global rating method where the individual employees are asked to respond to one question such as all things considered how satisfied are you with the job? Respondents then reply by circling a number between 1 and 5 that corresponds to answers from highly satisfied to highly dissatisfied. Another one is the summation of job facets in which the typical factors that would be included are the nature of work, supervision, present pay, promotional opportunities and relation with co-workers. These factors are rated on a standardized scale and then added up to create an overall job satisfaction score. The brief index of effective job satisfaction is a four-item measure of overall job satisfaction. It differs from other job satisfaction measures in being an overtly effective measure. The job description index was originally developed by Smith, Kendall and Hewlin in 1969. It is a specifically cognitive job satisfaction measure. There are 72 items on this index which assess five facets of job satisfaction which includes the work, the pay, promotions, supervision and co-worker. The scale is simple. Participants answer either yes, no or can't decide in response to whether given statements accurately describe one's job. Through the combination of ratings of satisfaction with the facets, a composite measure of job satisfaction is determined. The Minnesota Satisfaction Questionnaire. It measures job satisfaction in 20 facets and has a long form with 100 questions five items from each facet and a short form with 20 questions, one item from each facet. Next measure is Job Satisfaction Survey or JSS. It was developed by Spectre in 1985 and is a 36 item questionnaire that measures nine facets of job satisfaction. The job facets include pay, promotion, supervision, benefits, contingent rewards, operating procedures, co-workers, nature of work and communication. The FACES scale of job satisfaction is one of the first scales used widely. It measures overall job satisfaction with just one item which participants respond to by choosing a face which corresponds to his or her satisfaction. And lastly, Hackman and Oldham, 1974, developed Job Diagnostic Survey, which measures both overall and specific facets of job satisfaction. There are three dimensions of overall job satisfaction, which includes general satisfaction, internal work motivation, and growth satisfaction, which are combined into a single measure. The facets which are measured on the survey include security, compensation, co-workers and supervision. The picture here depicts the factors underlying job satisfaction as per job satisfaction scale. Thus, to summarize what we have learned in this module, firstly, job satisfaction plays a key role in enhancing the quality of employees' work life as well as 
the overall well-being of an individual. Secondly, job satisfaction is an attitude which is a result of employees' evaluation of their overall work experience. Thirdly, job satisfaction is essentially a precursor to organizational effectiveness and achievement of important organizational objectives. Fourthly, job satisfaction is influenced by a number of factors such as working conditions, opportunities of advancement, financial compensation and interpersonal relationships with co-workers, subordinates as well as supervisors. Fifthly, job satisfaction has important outcomes for an organization such as job performance of employees, preventing employee turnover, reducing absenteeism and workplace deviance. And lastly, job satisfaction is measurable and can be measured through a number of techniques.